Welcome to Unfold Data Science, friends. My name is Aman and I'm a data scientist. In the technology space, many things keep happening and we are into data analysis and technology world, right? So it's our duty to understand and analyze what is happening. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept of metaverse in a very, very simple and easy language, okay? I'm going to discuss what is metaverse, what is the meaning of metaverse, okay what is what it is and why it is what is the technology behind it for whom it is created and why it is created what is the target and is it a boon or curse for the society right so we will try to understand all these things in very very simple words okay so guys the meaning of metaverse metaverse is made of two words okay one is called meta and other is called verse the meaning of meta is beyond it's a kind of greek word the meaning is beyond and verse comes from universe okay now beyond universe now what are the things that is beyond universe guys what are the things that is not real when i say beyond universe that is something which is not real so for example um, you might be playing some video games where you know if you move your hand like in one direction then the player who is you know playing on behalf of you they will also uh, do their hands like that that's not real, but that is happening, right? So something which is beyond universe, which is not real. We will try to understand in all these segments by breaking it into multiple pieces, okay? So first of all, what and why of metaverse? Now, what is metaverse we will come later, but first of all, let's try to understand guys, uh, when there was no mobile phone and no internet, right? Then what was there, how you used to communicate with your relatives and loved ones? using post boxes, letters, right? And I'll not go before this, some other mediums might be there, right? Then comes letters and then comes our landline phones, right? Normal phones, right? Then came mobile phones where we could communicate with the people wherever we want to, right? If we are in a market or if we are in, in a friend's place, anywhere we can communicate with our relatives, friends, right? That is mobile phone. After mobile phone, Nowadays, we are able to do some video calls on Zooms, on WhatsApp and on Facebook and different, different platforms, right? But what has happened in last one, two years is there is a lot of adoption for technology, a lot of adoption for, you know, feeling real in virtual world. So video call is one example of that, feeling real in virtual world, right? So you talk to your relatives, friends, and you kind of feel connected. So metaverse is one step ahead of this where it is a combination of two things basically guys i'm going to write here one is called augmented reality augmented reality and other is called virtual reality okay so both these things no need to go into much detail of what are augmented and virtual realities but one thing you have to understand is not real okay not real now imagine guys, I am talking to you through a video, right? So it's a two dimensional space. How many dimensions? Two dimensional. You are holding a phone in your hand or you are watching a computer screen and you are able to listen to what I'm saying. Now imagine there is a common place where you can go when I say you, not physically you, okay? Not physically you. Virtually you can go to this space and I can also virtually go to this space, not physically, virtually. And here I teach you data science. Okay. This is nothing but a metaverse. Now, where these two things come into picture, augmented reality and virtual reality. So obviously when I say that I'm not physically going and you are not physically coming, but we are able to meet at a given place and it will be very near to the real meet. That is what metaverse concept is using some uh, technologies which is close to the reality, for example, augmented reality and virtual reality, create a space where people can come. And what, what Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook is saying is, people can come, people can shop together, okay? People can shop together, people can meet together, people can eat together, people can laugh together, people can do exercise together, all these things you can do, but in a virtual world. Your physical body is not there, okay? so when you play some video games right so you are you are told to choose a avatar for you right so you take your avatar your your favorite superhero or something right so that favorite superhero is you in this 
meet our space and then you meet another person and you know you talk and you shop and you meet and you eat together so what is metaverse high level metaverse is nothing but it's not real it's a virtual world virtual world and why we need metaverse or what is the need of this virtual world so as i gave you some examples from last one two years we have realized that uh, you know there is there is a space for virtual world right there is a space for doing things virtually uh, some people have family calls whatsapp calls where they will be cooking things in their kitchens and they will be kind of sharing all the details okay i'm putting onions now i'm putting garlic now and they will they will try to get a feel like everybody is cooking together so that is the feel they are trying to get in a virtual environment what's a video call now imagine if you take this one level more up right where your avatar and your family's avatar both meet in a virtual world and you can cook you can do things so that is at high level what is and what is a uh, metaverse space and why it is needed because we need something to you know entertain ourselves you can say or some experience which is not real okay that is why it is in picture now when we talk of technology right guys when we talk of technology so everything that is virtual right obviously it will be internet and when i say internet it will be very very fast internet that will be needed 5g and beyond that okay all the technologies related to your 3d images related to your graphics related to your design related to your uh, whatever makes virtual thing look real for example if i can create a hologram of a person here which may look like the real person those kind of technologies will go and obviously technologies if it's a virtual world then virtual currencies will be there and that is where the concept of blockchain the concept of nfts you might be hearing these words all these things will be used as a technology and currency here okay so it's a virtual world so you, you cannot you know carry a 100 rupees note in your pocket and go to this world it's a virtual world so virtual world has its own currency you need to carry that currency so if you go into that world in your wallet that currency should be there so that currencies can be like bitcoins or other cryptocurrencies or some of these players have their own currencies right nfts are in lot of demand then the, the technology driven uh, you know blockchain plays a very important important role in decentralizing the metaverse now many of you would be thinking guys metaverse is driven by facebook no metaverse is a concept facebook is also working on its own metaverse some other companies also working on its own metaverse but it's not only facebook or some other companies there can be decentralized metaverse as well okay so facebook is not the owner of everything in metaverse world okay now for whom this metaverse is there very very important concept to understand guys for whom this metaverse is there is it for you and me or is it for them for example if we take a centralized metaverse example facebook facebook will have facebook is rich right lot of money it will have its own metaverse now facebook already has like how many people on its platform you already know right it's a sizable number of world's population okay so facebook knows a lot of things about you so it's easy for facebook to sell you a new concept of metaverse okay now suppose uh, your friend joins facebook metaverse your your um, brothers and sisters join Met facebook metaverse right so maybe if it is not expensive you will also join right and then you can play games you can cook together you can meet there you can go to a park you can even buy properties there you can buy you know play games and win prizes you can attend a concert all these things can happen already happening one or two has many has happened actually okay so for whom if you think from the consumer point of view right then me and you are so when facebook was launched right we thought it's for us to to connect to our families and friends right but do you think facebook is for us facebook is more for the organization the company right because it has a lot of data about us it knows literally everything about us right so that is one area which is gray now what data it will have access to uh, what kind of activities it, it will allow us to do right how the regulations will come into picture many things on that aspect one thing i want to tell you here guys if some some organization is spending heavily on some concept right as you can see facebook has changed its name itself to meta okay that means there is a lot in that for that particular organization there is a lot for that particular organization okay 
it will not do for charity sake it will not do for give us a better experience no there is a lot for them in that okay just to give you some example Sub suppose your friend is in germany okay and you are in india okay and your friend you know takes a avatar in the metaverse world where he or she is wearing a costume which you like now uh, that particular company has no way to send its products to you i mean advertise its products to you but once in metaverse you see somebody is wearing that maybe you will be interested in buying that in the virtual world so what is happening is it's a centralized virtual you know market you can say or you can say advertisement place so what i am telling you here is this is the metaverse right there is one user joining from germany there is one user joining from australia and there is one person joining from india virtually all three now suppose there is a company which sells uh, very niche product okay for example uh, 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 maybe maybe a device to create a hairstyle some example okay and you know this india guy takes that uh, avatar and makes that hairstyle now this person ask this person where did you get this hairstyle he says that i got this product and i got this hairstyle then what is happening here is the marketing is not limited to one particular geography or one particular area okay it is going everywhere it is going everywhere to everywhere this is happening in facebook also if you see closely but in augmented reality what will happen is people will spend more time here and it will be more close to the real world you can understand it so uh, you know seeing some person's photo on facebook is different and seeing some person's avatar which is close to the reality is different okay so one one pull for marketing i will say here one pull for marketing and who is the boss in marketing guys somebody who has lot of data and who is the guys who is having lot of data google guys facebook guys microsoft guys right these guys now i want to discuss my favorite point here that is known as boon or curse okay so first of all guys how far have we come from the reality in this virtual world okay so how much time do you spend or i spend or everybody all of us spend on um insta or facebook or twitter right so what we are trying to do is we are trying to spend more time on something which is not real okay so what people are doing people are posting their photos where they are going check in check outs twitter you are reading tweets of many people here and there insta also more or less same now imagine how this metaverse uh, world will work is they will give you a device to wear here right and you know that device is heavy now so if you wear that device that, that may be lighter in coming worlds uh, coming years that may be lighter but it is very heavy now whatever is there in the market now so suppose you wear that device and you see something which is not real which is virtual in front of you okay and then this is the entire virtual world in front of you entire virtual world don't you think it will make you addicted because everything is on the finger you know you click a button you go to a different place altogether you click a button you want to see a you know um, um, a seashore you see this on a click of a button you want to see a uh, you know desert you click a button and reach to a desert okay all these things is happening in front of your eyes so one thing that concerns me here is it will be more addictive than uh, your traditional games games itself are addictive social media itself is addictive so what will happen when you know you can do many things on click of a button what will happen there right and then uh, if you are into that virtual world right you are going more far from reality more far from reality what is reality reality is nothing but going to a garden and taking a walk you know doing some exercises talking to your family friends in a real world right and if you become addictive and if you are more into that virtual world right you will be going far from uh, reality i can say here right third thing that i want to point out here is all these currencies and all these uh, uh, nfts you call it or crypto you call it if these things are not regulated properly right even the data part we can say then um, it may be a problem right it may be a problem for uh, entire economy so the guys who is having more data the guys who is able to control the people on metaverse will be very very powerful right will be very very powerful to do things to do stuff right so all these things i see as a cons okay 
but there are obviously some pros that we can consider here right for example in real world people keep fighting um, you know you need to commute to the office daily no need to commute commute you know you can do your job also in the virtual world actually no need to commute will be gone some kind of pollution will be minimized to a certain extent okay uh, if somebody uh, you know tries to fight with you those things fight will be less i can say right these things will be there and in a virtual world if things are regulated properly then there will be no scope for uh, suppose somebody is going and showing you some land and some houses right they might sometimes cheat you in the physical world uh, if things are regulated properly then there may be cheating may be limited but obviously in facebook and all social media platforms there are cheating and these things are there and suppose you want to do some job then there is a lot of you know anywhere you can go and do a job no need of physical movement uh, you can you can talk to your relatives friends meet them virtually so all these things whatever the next level of social media right that is another thing that that is positive about metaverse i feel here right only thing that you need to understand is how this will be regulated how the currency will be con uh, compliance will be applied on that how things will be in the in the image uh, in the virtual world right and the addiction is one part that i feel is going to be dangerous if we are able to take care of addiction uh, to an extent and these things then maybe uh, maybe it's a, it's a good thing but we'll have to see how things evolve and how things go go around metaverse right so there are some uh, centralized players like facebook and microsoft and there are some decentralized players if you search for metaverse in the internet right so this is all about this video guys i wanted to give you an idea of what is metaverse why so much of discussion around this what is the claim of people who are you know behind metaverse and how it will make the social media to the next level and how it can enable us to do many things through internet okay so what is your views guys just drop me a comment about your views and please subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet i will see you all in the next video till then wherever you are stay safe and take care